Thank you and good morning everyone. And today I'd like to give a talk on the electrical detection and the magnetic field control of spin state of phosphorus doped silicon. I'm Hiroki Morishita, PhD candidate Ito Group in Keio University. This work has been done in collaboration with Yofei Physical Technical Institute, NTT Basic Research Laboratories, and Tokyo City Universities. This result is published for this paper. So this is the background of our study. Uh, our study is to realize uh, quantum computer using phosphorus donor in silicon because phosphorus donor in silicon with uh, the sp uh, one electron spin with S equal one half and one nuclear spin with I equal one half. And this spin used as a uh, qubit. Therefore, phosphorus donor in silicon can be viewed as two qubit quantum information processor. For example, Ken's quantum computer using this spin for calculation and all silicon quantum computer uh, using this spin for read out or uh, discussing. So next is the spin state of phosphorus in silicon under external magnetic field. Again, phosphorus in silicon with the spin one, uh, phosphorus in silicon has uh, spin one, half, uh, hmm? one electron spin with the spin one half and one nuclear with the spin one half. It is very promising candidate for the particle to quantum bit system and uh, electron bound by phosphorus has a slight wave function like these figures. Therefore, the spin Hamiltonian of phosphorus in silicon described by these equations. It composed as a sum of electron zeta energy hyperfine interaction between electron and nuclear spins and nuclear zeta energies. The value of these coefficients indicated here. This figure shows the uh, spin state of phosphorus in silicon under external magnetic field. Horizontal axis is magnetic field and vertical axis is energy. The spin state described here, up, up, cosine eta half, up, down, plus sine eta half, down, up, down, down, and minus sine eta half, up, down, plus cosine eta half, down, up. The eta is the angle between external applied magnetic field direction and actual electron and nuclear spin precession axis. The eta has also magnetic field dependence because the Spin Hamiltonian is dominated by the hyper, uh, dominated by the contact hyperfine term rather than by the Zeeman term uh, in degrading the magnetic field, especially below 200 Gauss. This figure shows the magnetic field dependence of these coefficient. Horizontal axis is magnetic field in Gauss and the vertical axis is uh, coefficient. Here, here we defined two regions, one region cos, uh, where cosine eta half equal one and sine eta half equal zero, zero is defined as high magnetic field. And another region where cosine eta half does not, have, uh, does not equal one and sine eta half has non-zero value uh, is defined as low magnetic field, especially below 200 Gauss. So uh, the high magnetic field uh, uh, spin state be, uh, becomes simple, up, 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 down, 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 and down, up. In this region, the EPR transition are uh, limited to two, uh, indicated by red, because of the selection rule described by these equations. This figure shows the EPR spectrum of phosphorus in silicon under 3000 Gauss. Two allowed transitions are separated by 42 Gauss, corresponding to the strength of the hyperfine interaction. However, in the, uh, low, in the low magnetic field, sine eta half has non-zero value. This means up, down, and down, up state are formed the superposition state. Then we can detect all uh, six transitions of each state. Red and green are allowed in first order, and blue transition are allowed in second order. So we can increase the number of allowed EPR transition and uh, uh, we can con uh, generate and control the entanglement state by lowering the magnetic field. So we have constructed uh, electrically detected magnetic resonance in short EDMR uh, spectrometer to detect these transitions because the uh, signal intensity does not depend on the static magnetic field. 
So a sample we employed is silicon doped with phosphorus at the concentration of the 10 to the 16 per cubic centimeter. Electrical, electrical contact are made by ion implantation of arsenic. So there, uh, there is a schematic diagram of our low magnetic field EDMR spectrometer. There is a sample between electrical magnet and a coil is wrapped around the sample for the RF irradiation. The sample is cooled down to 5 Kelvin. Tungsten lamp is used to excite electron hole pair continuously. Photoconductivity with sweeping magnetic field is recorded. Photoconductivity uh, as a function of the sweeping magnetic field is well known as an electrically detected magnetic resonance, in short, EDMR spectra. These EDMR spectra are, are observed with irradiation of constant radio frequency, 100 MHz for this, 200 MHz for this with sweeping magnetic field. The peak indicated by purple correspond to these purple transitions. Orange peak is this, and black peak is this, and red peak is this. So we have succeeded in measuring more than two EPSR, EPR transition of phosphorus in silicon, simply going down in the magnetic field. So next we uh, show the EDMR spectra of different frequency of RF. Horizontal axis is magnetic field in Gauss and the vertical axis is EDMR signal in arbitrary unit. This experiment has been done at 5 Kelvin. This is with 240 MHz. This is uh, with 220 MHz. This is with 200 MHz. This is to 150 MHz and so on. The peak indicated by purple corresponds to this transition and orange peak is this black peak is this and the red peak is this and the pink peak is this. And the, uh, the peaks indicated by blue correspond to the uh, paramag paramagnetic resonance or PB center. PB center is a paramagnetic defect uh, at the interface between silicon and silicon dioxide. So we have observed a total of six transitions successfully. So next, we, uh, I show the magnet, uh, re relation between a resonance field in Gauss and resonance frequency in megahertz. These plots are experimental result and the transition corresponds to the transition as labeled. This is with up, up and minus up, down, plus down, up. This is with up, down, plus down, up and minus up, down, plus down, up. This is a PB center transition. This is up, down, plus down, up, and down, down transition, and so on. The solid curves are theoretical result with no fitting parameters. There is an excellent agreement between experiment and theory, uh, proving that we have realized this superposition state. And the PB center transition is very close to the transition between up, up, and down, down, because G factor of PB center is very, uh, almost the same with the transition between uh, up, up, and down, down. So uh, therefore, just like case for the high field EDMR previously reported, PB center uh, acting as a spin-dependent recombination center, leading to the change of the photoconductivity depending on the spin state of phosphorus. Electron at phosphorus cannot recombine through the PB center if these spins are parallel. But it recombines easily if these spins are anti-parallel uh, when EPR occurs. Then recombination occurs. This means recombination is enhanced by uh, EPR, trans EPR transitions. Also, uh, PB sen uh, spin at PB center flipped by EPR transition, these spin are formed anti-parallel. So recombination is enhanced. This result indicated that the uh, EDMR spectra are observed phosphorus and PB center simultaneously. And this is a pair uh, 
model spin dependent, pair model spin dependent recombination, and this is a mechanism of change of photoconductivity when EPR is induced to enhance the recombination. Based on this process, we have constructed a model uh, using G, uh, which is a uh, capture rate here, D, which is a dissociation rate here, and R, that is a uh, recombination rate here. So we consider again the spin Hamiltonian of this system during EDMR described by these equations. Uh, it is composed as a sum of electron spin interacted with static magnetic field and, and with oscillating mag uh, RF field and hyperfine interaction. This term is neglected a nuclear Zeeman term because nuclear uh, magnetic ratio is uh, approximately 10 to the 3 times smaller than the electron nuclear uh, electron gyromagnetic ratio. And also uh, J coupling term is neglected assuming this re relation. The transition probability is defined by a uh, Fermi Golden rule described by equations. Then we write down the late, equ late equation using uh, GDR as a parameter. R is the R, I sigma is the recombination rate uh, between each state described by these tables. N is the total number of electron pairs, and Ni sigma uh, it take a concentration, and these four state of phosphorus and G2 state of PB center. KET1 correspond to this state and KET2 correspond to this state and so on. If we solve this uh, late equation for the transition between KET2 and 4, we obtain the late equation, two late equations. Then, we obtain the uh, EDMA signal intensity that depends on the RF power for the steady state solution. So here we sh I show the signal intensity as a function of the RF power, RF power uh, the, for the transition between up, down, plus, down, up, and down, down. Experimental plots are fitted very well with our model using these parameters. And moreover, 500 milliwatt RF irradiated situation, the signal intensity is saturated. In this uh, region, the for this equation is changed. Uh, when the sig EDM signal is saturated, this relation is satisfied. Then we obtain the signal intensity that depends on the magnetic field. Note R uh, recombination rate uh, depend on B, so B dependence is in R. So finally, we show the magnetic field dependence of uh, EDMR signal intensity fitted with our model. Again, agreement between experiment and our uh, theory, our model, are uh, excellent. This result indicated that the uh, degree of superposition significant, uh, change significantly below 200 Gauss. This means we can control the degree of superposition this and this arbitrarily by precious control of the magnetic field. In the limit of the zero magnetic field, we obtain the equal superposition state of up-down and down-up which is a well-known Bell state. So what is significantly our work? Phosphorus in silicon has been studied previously uh, extensively these days. Long T2 has shown entanglement between electron and nuclear spin demonstrated. Uh, the Rabi oscillation and echo detection in EDMR has been succeeded. Our work is shown for the first time that it is possible to change the population of the four state by utilizing the six transitions that are made allowed. And to control the ratio of cosine eta half and sine eta half to change the degree of superposition uh, by the magnetic field. So thank you for your kind attention. <laughs>